A woman named Debbie was browsing items at a local yard sale when she noticed this bird bath. She loved it, but it was nearly cracked in half. That's when she had a curious thought, rather than turn it down, she could give a new life. How she did that, however, was just a little bit unusual. The first thing Debbie needed to do was to glue it back together. Thanks to a little help from her husband, the two halves were pieced together again. Now the bird bath could actually support the birds who'd be dipping their feet into it. But glue was only the beginning, it's what Debbie did afterward that was pretty out there. Debbie was pretty certain that glue would not be enough, so she purchased a waterproofing bonding agent that she found at her local hardware store. This would make sure the bird bath was properly sealed and wouldn't leak water. More than that, though, she needed to make sure the surface was perfect, as she had a great idea for revamping the bird bath that she was sure no one had thought of before. Using her new waterproofing agent, Debbie set to work giving the bird bath a facelift. She soon realized the stuff was super effective, and it was completely natural, too, so the birds could enjoy their baths safely. Not too bad. Huh? Just to be on the safe side, Debbie applied a more than ample amount. This way, the cracks wouldn't just be fixed, they would be stronger than ever. Still, there was much more work to be done before this could sit in her garden. Once the waterproofing agent had completely dried, Debbie used sandpaper to rub away the excess sealant and smooth out the surface. Once that was finished, the bird bath was officially repaired. Now it was time for the fun part. Understandably, Debbie wasn't in love with the cracked look the bird bath was sporting. Though the waterproofing agent helped preserve the bird bath's structure, it wasn't very appealing aesthetically. So, she decided to cover the cracks with a little flare. She picked out some old and out of date DVDs from a box and got to work cutting them apart. That's when Debbie ran into a minor issue. While cutting the DVDs, she quickly realized that they had more than one layer. CDs don't have this issue, and this project can be done easily with those if you don't want to go through the hassle of peeling DVDs. Still, Debbie wanted to stick with what she had. Debbie cut and peeled each of the DVDs, setting aside the clear fragments and using the shiniest inner layer for the bird bath. Later, when the results started to show up, she would be glad she had made that decision. The shiny layers just caught the light in the most wonderful way. Since the bird bath was going to be outside, that look was going to be incredibly appealing out in the yard, day after day. Even more good news came when Dabby discovered that the colorful section peeled away rather easily. Anytime you can pull off a step in a DIY project with ease, life is good, that's for sure. In this photo you can actually see all three layers of the discs. Who knew that DVD discs had so many distinct layers, even compared to CDs? It's a detail that's good to know for future DIY projects, certain layers might work for different types of crafts. Once she figured out a basic system, it was easy to cut each of the pieces into the shape she was looking for. These little fragments were going to look so great once she placed them on the bird bath to protect the bright colors of the disc pieces, Debbie sprayed them with a clear top coat. That would prevent damage from the elements, and keep each of them sparkling in the light. How neat do they look even in this picture? Debbie then began placing the pieces on the edge of the feeder to see if she liked the result. Sometimes, when being creative, it's best to plan out your next steps before committing to them. That way, you can test a variety of options without making any mistakes when you're finally ready to complete the project. Don't you love how this is starting to look? All those rainbow colors make it seem magical. Once the project is complete and the bird bath is placed in the garden, it'll look dazzling as it glitters in the sunlight. Absolutely no detail was spared here. Debbie even made sure to cover the lip of the bath with smaller pieces to give it a more finished feel. At this point, it was starting to look like something you'd have to buy in a store. Once all the pieces were in place, she stepped back to marvel at her creation, and was stunned by the gorgeous results. It looked like a beautiful serving dish. No one would ever know how cracked and unsightly it looked before. It looked completely different depending on where she was standing, too. 
Even though the project already seemed incredible by this point, Debbie knew that there was still a little bit of work that needed to be done before it could be truly finished, because she didn't want the birds to trip or hurt themselves over the rough and sharp edges of the DVD shards. She applied a layer of natural grout over the entire mosaic to fill in the spaces in between. Don't panic, though, the reflective surface would return as soon as she cleaned it. Once the grout dried and was washed off of the shiny pieces, the effect was simply stunning. The grout wasn't just a safety precaution, it also gave the entire project a finished look that really made the DVD shard sparkle in the light. This was so beautiful it might just belong in a museum. Even as a birdbath in the yard, it was sure to attract some serious attention. It's kind of crazy to think that Debbie managed to transform a doom bird bath into this using DVDs she had in her closet. The white grout really served to highlight the array of colors, too. At this point, it almost looked like some sort of fancy serving dish or a custom-made decoration. It really was that attractive and professional looking, no one would ever know that she didn't just buy this in a store. Couldn't you just stare at this all day? Debbie's skills were inspiring. Few DIY projects turn out as flawlessly as this one did. Birds would be flocking there to bath from miles around. So, the big question, how does the finished bird bath look outside? Well, let's just say that it transformed Debbie's garden into a charming place. It looked like something out of a Lewis Carroll novel, didn't it? Alice would be blown away. So many birds were going to be attracted to this thing that Debbie would have to start taking reservations. Otherwise, it might turn into a total mob of birds. The shiny finish was sure to delight them as they cooled off in the water. It would take a few weeks for the grout to fully set, so Debbie would have to wait before filling it with water. In the meantime, there is absolutely no shame in staring at this thing and enjoying its beauty, right? Once the grout finally dried, it was ready to be filled up with water, just in time for prime bird bathing season. Then, the birds surely would be lining up to dip their wings into the hottest bird bath on the block.